In today's video, I'm gonna show you my process in creating a five stack reel with using Adobe Premiere. So let's get into it. All right guys, step one, grab your selected clips and put it in a folder. This makes it super easy to just throw into Premiere. So I'm gonna go assets. I already have a folder called clips, for example, and here are the five clips that I wanna use. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up Premiere. I'm gonna make a new project, title it five stack reel for YouTube. I'm gonna go over to the project location, choose the location and choose. All right, so now that I have that, I'm gonna hit create. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna import this entire file, just drag it in and drop. With step number two, you're gonna create two different sequences. The first sequence is gonna be your main sequence and the second sequence is going to be how you're gonna crop each individual footage. Now I'm gonna show you my process in doing this. A lot of people have their own different ways, but what I like to do is I like to just grab a clip and throw it in here. And this is my first sequence. Next step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to this little icon, click it, and then add a new sequence. And I'm gonna call this one crop, hit okay. And then now, as you can tell, I have this original sequence and then this is my uh, cropping sequence. The next step that we're gonna do after we have these two sequences is we're gonna throw in the clips that we wanna use into the second sequence that we made. So this is my process. When I double click the footage, it just shows up here. And then I'm just gonna choose the in and out points. So I actually like up until about here, I'm gonna press O for my out and I'm gonna grab and throw this on my timeline. I'm gonna change the settings. I'm gonna come up here to sequence, sequence settings, and I'm gonna make sure that we are working with 30 frames a second because that's what Instagram does. I'm gonna change this frame size to 2160 by 768. The reason why it's 768 is that's 3840 divided by five. And that is how we equally crop each footage. Okay, so now I'm just gonna check before I hit okay that I have all the right settings and I got 30 frames a second, 2160 by 768. That's all I'm looking for right now. I'm gonna hit okay, hit okay again. And as you can tell, it's already super narrow. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna click on this clip, I'm gonna go over to the effects controls and I'm gonna punch in the scale until it fits the entire screen. And then you could also change the position to whatever you like. Sometimes I like to start the clip at the bottom and I put a keyframe and then at the end of the clip, I kinda like to work my way up so then it makes this natural effect. Now that I got that, I'm gonna go and select another clip just by double clicking here and then choosing my in and out point. I like from here to here and I'm just gonna grab just a clip, drop it down right here. I'm gonna click on it and then I'm gonna repeat the same process. I'm gonna scale it in. All right, and then the position looks fine to me so I'm just going to move on to this next clip. Okay, I actually like this entire thing, so I'm just gonna grab this entire footage, go here, scale it in, and that looks good to me. Okay, not this one. I like right before it starts going up, in, out, grab this, put here. Now this one I gotta scale it out right here and I'm gonna move this up to about right here perfect and then now for the last clip I want it starting right here oh. and then to about here okay zoom out now that that's completed the next step that we're gonna do is nest each footage individually the reason why we want to nest this is because all the adjustments that we made to this clip, it's going to group that all together as if the modified clip that we just made was the original clip. How you nest these clips is you go to each one individually, you're going to right click and then you're going to find the nest option. You're going to click on it and then press OK. I have this as a shortcut on my computer. All I got to do is press N and then enter and then that will change the selected clip into a nest. I'm just gonna go ahead and select each clip individually and then nest them. Okay, now that I have each clip nested, I'm gonna click and drag and then copy by hitting Command C and then going back to my original sequence and I'm gonna delete this clip that I just threw in there and then I'm gonna press Command V and that's going to paste all the clips that were in here to my main sequence. Okay, so now the next step is to change the sequence settings for our first sequence. 
How you do this is you go up to sequence, go to sequence settings, and then make sure that this is going to be 30 frames a second. I'm gonna change this to 2160 by 3840. After you do that, just hit OK. OK again. As you can see, these clips are all cropped the same size. Now for the final step is stacking the clips together how we want it. And I actually made a cheat sheet on my phone that I use so I never forget the settings because it's always a hassle. And I'll actually put it on screen. How I like to do this is to find my middle clip first. In this case, it's gonna be this guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and click these images and just put this guy right in the middle. Okay, so this one I want on top, so I'm gonna find that, and it's gonna be 1080 by 387. Okay, and then I'm gonna move that guy to the top, and then this one I kinda want in between that, so that's gonna be 1155. See, I want this one on the bottom, so that's gonna be 3456. And then this one is gonna be 2688. Perfect. Okay, so now you can see that these clips are perfectly stacked. The next step that we wanna do is change the duration for the clips to make sure that they're equal. As you can tell, these clip lengths are all over the place. How I go about it is I choose the shortest length video and then I adjust all the other clips to match it. But because this is only a second long, another step that you could do is double click in this nested to actually bring you to the original clip. And then I'm just going to slow down this clip by hitting Command R, and I'm gonna slow it down to 40%. As you can tell, that really extended out the clip, but it only to about four seconds, so I'm gonna go actually slow it down to 20%. And I filmed this clip specifically in 120 frames a second, so I know that I could slow it down to 20% and it would still be smooth. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to the main sequence and I could go ahead and extend this out. Now you see that this clip is actually longer than the shortest clip here. In this drone clip, I know that I filmed in 30 frames a second, so I'm actually unable to slow down. So I'm gonna adjust all these clips to match it. The final step that I'm gonna teach you is color grading in this. Now I'm not gonna go in depth, I'm actually gonna make a video later on on how I color grade, but I'm gonna show a very quick way within these. So what's nice about these nested sequences is you could double click in here, and then I'm gonna go and press this new item icon and then press adjustment layer. I'm gonna press okay. I'm gonna bring this over here. I'm gonna extend it out. And then now I'm gonna go up here to lumetry color. And this is actually where I can make all the adjustments for this specific layer. Now this is not gonna affect any of the other clips in here, which is super nice because if you were to go and put an adjustment layer on the top of here, then it'll affect all the clips but by going into each nested sequence and then putting the adjustment layer on the original video, then it will only affect the clip in that nested sequence. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly do that. Awesome guys, thanks so much for watching. I really hope this video was a lot of help for you. If it was, please leave a like and comment on this video. And also that cheat sheet earlier that I was talking about, I actually left it in the description of this video so then you guys could just copy. Anyways, thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.